great power comes great responsibility. Now that we have new tools like ChatGPT, we need to make sure that we use them properly. We need to leverage them correctly. Basically, imagine that tools like this are like your coworkers. You can ask them questions and you can ask them to help with the problems, but they might not always get the answer correct, or they might be out of context. They might need you to actually give them a little bit more information such that they come to the correct answer. To show off how that might happen in a tool like this and how to properly leverage the tool to get to the appropriate answer, I came up with this example based on a conversation on Twitter where Elon asked, how much does it cost per chat? The answer by the GPT team was that it costs on the order of, you know, single digit cents per chat. So I came up with this question that says, if the average cost per chat is five cents and there are 1 million users, assuming the average is 10 chats per day, what is the cost per day? Now the answer to this should be 500,000 and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, if the average cost per chat is five cents and there are 1 million users, then the total cost per day would be 5 cents times 10 chats times 1 million users, which is equal to 50,000, okay? So 50,000 is not the correct answer, okay? Um, 10 chats times 1 million is 10 million, and times 5 cents is actually 500,000. And let's prove that. So let's open up the calculator. Let's do 0 0.05, okay, times 1 one, two, three, one, two, three million, which is 50,000 times 10. So we can see it's clearly supposed to be 500,000, right? So going back here, let's say, I don't think that's correct. Um, are you sure you took into consideration the fact that each user had 10 chats per day and let's see what it says here now remember this is a large language model that's trained on basically data on the internet so it might just come up with sentences that are just not correct but now here's what it says you are correct i apologize i did not take into account the fact that each user has 10 chats per day if the average cost per chat is five cents and there are one million users and each user has 10 chats per day, then the total cost per day would be five cents times 10 chats times one million users times one day, which is equal to 500,000. So notice how here it said five cents times 10 chats times one million users, right? Well, before it said the same thing, five cents times 10 chats times one million users, and it got to 50,000. But this time it said the same sentence, five cents times 10 chats times 1 million users, which equals 500,000. So it comes up with the same, the, the same math, but, but the correct answer versus before was the incorrect answer. So you need to make sure you actually validate what's going on here, um, and you might need to prompt it to fix itself. So it's a conversation where it said, oh, you're right, like I made a mistake. No different than a human being might make a math mistake and go ahead and correct that. Okay, so always be careful and make sure you use this um, as a tool to help you and validate the results. This has been trained as a language model. It is not a calculator, right? So therefore you cannot always trust it to do all the things that you want today. In the future, you know, models like this will get better. You'll have access to more resources that it's not just, you know, a language model. This one's just a language model, but in the future it'll be able to do more things. But currently, I want to be very clear that you have to be careful with this type of output. For example, on the screen, you can see what's 1 million times 0 0.05 times 10. I asked it a different question that's way more simple, right, than the question I asked it before. And it again gave me the 50,000 response, okay? So I want to be very clear that, you know, while this technology is cool and while it will improve to the point where you will be able to ask some, some you know, oracle, if you will, uh, questions like this, in its current state, there are limitations and you need to watch out for those limitations.